Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons My Island Tour. Um, just to start off, I have so many new updates that I've done to my island and as you can see I'm not actually starting off at home. <laughs> Um, for those who are new watching, I do use the Nintendo Switch feature which basically clips every thir uh, 30 seconds which is quite rubbish really but um, I'm using an app called the Giant Stopwatch which keeps track of the time so I know when exactly when to click the save button uh, which basically was just now. <laughs> so let me show you some of the updates. Uh, obviously here it just looks uh, very very stupid because I've just moved someone so I'm going to use be using that area for a lot of new work. And as you take a little look down here, I've done a nice little area down here where the villagers can come and take a seat. And you know, I've got a nice little teacup uh, section here for the villagers. So it's nice, you know, I've got the peach trees as well. It really does make it look a little bit more exciting than just having the standard flowers all the time around the edge. Um, for those who have not seen it, I have a nice running area, but we'll get into that in a second. I want to show you the newest updates that I've done. So before, I just had the standard nooks, cranny area, uh, general store, and as you can see here, I've really, really developed it. Um, you get welcomed with these really nice signs that talk about pizza and burger, and uh, yeah, so I really tried to kit that out. I used um, some wooden flooring panels that I found that I found on Google with the QR code I can add all this in the description for you guys if you want to be able to do something like this but take a look at this guys it looks really really stunning uh, you know you've got uh, the loads of different types of stands that are offering different types of foods and uh, yeah it just looks really really nice I kitted out the dining area so if people are coming and <laughs> eating you can see that they got place to sit and if you take a real good close look at the back, uh, you can see that I use mannequins. I basically use the clothes as mannequins to make it look like people are being served by uh, a chef. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested in learning how to make these cakes and these designs, uh, I can show you how to do that as well. Um, it took a bit of time learning how to do it, but once you know, it is very, very simple and you can really make your island stand out different from the rest as you can see I've got burgers pizzas curry <laughs> a cup of noodles over there to the left pancakes and let's just have a little look in the back as well to see how things are made you can see I've got a nice freezer here so you can stock up on well there it says change of clothes but to anyone else it looks like you're stocking up on food I wanted to make sure that there was food everywhere you know so like the rice cooker was being used and the, you can see the barbecue there and um, just little things like taking these boxes and just stacking them up just to give it a bit more detail, you know? Um, but yeah, it looks really, really nice. And it's, again, I'll put all the links in the description if you want to learn how to do something like this. Um, but yeah, let me take you over here. Not much has changed around here. I've still got the same old, oh, I can wait. <laughs> you can see that I've got a lot more plants here because I was breeding uh, black roses, which um, is coming along quite nice. I do need to water them, but I can do them later. Don't really need to rush and do that for you now. Let's take a little walk up here. Uh, still the same here uh, for new viewers. I always like to keep my place very interactive. So when I do get new people come to the village, they can grab the cards, learn new ideas, grab some money. And yeah, that's what this area is all about. Nice little fun fair area here as well. Uh, not really changed much here as you can see it all still looks the same uh, oh I added the football table so yeah people can play some football foosball they call it in America in England we just call it a football table <laughs> uh, so yeah not much changed there just quickly running here so people that haven't seen it can have a little cheeky look still the same there still got to put <laughs> two more tables at least uh, so yeah, as we come through here, it's just a nice little relaxing area. I thought I'd put a nice little train set here. The green on the train set goes really well with the grass on the floor, so I just thought it'd blend really, really well. So that's why I've done that. Got these pots. I love plants. The plants are what make your uh, island come to life. It really, really does. So you should look into that. Speaking of plants, what I did here was a nice little green flowery shop. It just looks so nice, and people just come along, and you know, they can grab flower they want and learn how to make flowers and sometimes people can put them back if they if they've got things that they don't need or they can add to it which is really cool 
so that's a little update that I did there uh, coming down here I had a load of apple trees as you can see um, obviously the bit where people can take some Easter eggs <laughs> over Easter but I've actually taken a lot of these apple trees down as you can see here I'm re renovating this entire area to make it like a little village where people live and as you can see up here I've just started running that design here just there uh, yeah oh and um if we quickly jump down here you, you understand that bit up there was part of the bamboo area that was all part of the bamboo gardens <clears throat> where if we come down here you can see the bamboo gardens <clears throat> originally it was blocked off so you couldn't actually go that way you can cut through here but now you can and I changed the 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 bathtub to this sort of nice open rock bath because it just looks a bit more nice I think the other one looked a bit more of like a I mean it's nice more like a sauna -y kind of bath isn't it whereas this one's just a little bit different so yeah that's that area here let me take you up here for those who haven't seen my house I'll quickly show you the grand entrance as you can see I like to have a lot of space to myself it is very very nice and grand I'm pretty sure I'm getting new viewers all the time but there's the front of my house um, if you do like it drop a little like I love the likes a lot of people keep asking to see inside my house if I can get 100 likes on this video I will show you guys inside my house you have my word <laughs> um, clap to it <laughs> they should do like a little pinky thing so you can like pinky promise uh, but yeah, that's my house. Very symmetrical on both sides, as you can see. Um, let me quickly run you over here so you can have a little look at the update that I've done over here. I've literally changed this part so, so much. So have a look at this, guys. This is my recent update. I think it's so important for people to be able to have dining areas, food areas, all these kind of things. I mean, look, even this makes a nice little noise. <laughs> as you can see, I've got another mannequin guy there. He's like the sort of like the... The guy who introduces you to the restaurant and like takes you to your seat as you can see there's seats everywhere with food everywhere it's just so so nice it really is nice and um yeah i mean if you again if you want to learn how to do these sort of things i can show you the links but i'm going to put in the description and you can just have a little look at how i do it and uh yeah you can try these different experiments and be influenced by it um, so yeah, this is the sort of like, I thought it was a Chinese era at first, but I, was, I showed my mum, she came over and she was just like, nah, this is more like the pizza-y, Italian-y, and so yeah, whatever, whatever makes people happy with that, it just looks nice. And for those who haven't seen, this is the sort of grand entrance towards my museum, I'll just quickly show you a nice little view up here like this. That's the museum area. And uh, let me quickly come down here as you just saw some money bags floating. This is sort of like the rich area. As you can see on the floor, I just added these new water holes. They don't really move much. They're just like images that I got from QR, but they do look pretty cool. It does make it look a bit more decent. And all down here, sort of like where the rich villagers really live. <laughs> I like to call it the rich end because as you can see, it's just so nice. All white, clean, and just really, really nice. Why are you not sitting on the chair? There you go. It is a really, really nice area. Got the yucca plants. Most people like to know what plants I'm using. These are the yucca plants. They go down really, really nice. Um, still a bit more work to do in this area. But as you can see here, all money bags. I call this money bag lane now. That was the correct way to call it. Money bag lane. 99k bags are planted in hope that they would all be 99k. So if these are 99k, then you know you're looking at 1.2 million right here. <laughs> well, at least 1.2 million, which makes it probably the most expensive part of the area. This is definitely where the rich people live. You know, they come here, they come to sit down, and there's still money on the chair. They can be, <laughs> they're basically discussing money as they're bloody looking at money and sitting around money. <laughs> uh so yeah that was that i haven't really done much on the beaches yet i will update the beaches i've just been a bit slow on that just trying to really do the design work on the uh, outside of other places well the inside of the islands <laughs> outside of my house <laughs> uh so let me take you to sort of like the last little bit that i've done which you may not have seen yet uh it was the back of here i had lots of um artwork if you look at my last video you'll see that i had a lot of artwork and it just it was nice i really did like the artwork but i really wanted to do something that was a bit more original so come and have a look at this this is the new update to 
my island the ice cream parlor it's so so nice look at that got uh, <laughs> vanilla ice cream chocolate ice cream there and uh, ice cream lollipops these are actually ones we've got the bunny ones and the star ones it's such a really cool unique look um, I mean, you know, you can grab these. As I say, everything on the island is is as interactive as possible. Jesus, I can see there's fire down there. Look, I've left it. <laughs> I've left it cooking. <laughs> oh God, left it cooking. Uh, but yeah, everything is interactive. Um, so yeah, people might come along and grab a, a nice wand for free, which is cool for them. As sometimes they're hard to get. Um, but yeah, just take you around the back here. Got a nice little mixer here to cook the food, uh, cook the ice creams little mixing part here as well it just looks really cool so uh, yeah that's pretty much my update guys um, I really do hope you like it and I think I should just show you there again my nice little secret island for those who haven't seen it I think most of you have seen it now um, but I don't know who's watching my videos you see so it's always good to sort of show you around of everything but if you did like this video, please do drop some likes and it would be great if you could uh, subscribe. It would be really, really fantastic. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I will try to keep you updated on the future events of my island. This is Malibu. I've dropped my friend code down below as well. So if anyone would like to come and visit, you are welcome to do so. Just add me on the friend code and I'll accept all your friend requests. See you later.